Good day. Sometimes I feel like I'm in some surrealistic dream. I was watching videos from Spain and already they are having some serious problems. Very similar to the ones they have in Italy. And Italy closed the ports, yes, and Spain opened theirs. So the Spanish socialist government is making sure that this flow is kept open. And the Spanish citizens are already paying a price. It's amazing. And then other nations, of course, will pay a price too, like Netherlands, Sweden, and Germany, France, and so on. So I was reading a report from Germany, and this was uh, surprising to me. Uh, this comes from an intelligence agency, BFV, in Germany. They say that the number of Salafists in Germany has doubled over the last five years and now exceeds 10,000. You know, the Salafists, hardcore people. And uh, they estimate that the number of Islamists in Germany increased to at least 25,810 by the end of 2017. That's a very specific number, isn't it? And according to this agency, the second largest Islamist movement in Germany is Mili Gürük, I think it is. It's Turkish and means national vision. They have around 10,000 members in Germany. The movement is strongly opposed to Muslim integration into European society. Yeah, they are opposed to this. Yeah. In addition to the Salafists and Milit Gürg, uh, this agency estimates that Germany is now home to 1,040 members of the Muslim Brotherhood, 950 members of Hezbollah, and 320 members of Hamas. This report was commented on by this Interior Minister Horst Seehofer at this event and he said something startling. He's, he demanded that the government sped up deportations of Islamists and then he said this uh, we do not have anything under control in any area. That's what he said. It's a very promising thing to say, isn't it? So maybe, again, Germany is taking the lead. They didn't win the World Cup. Maybe they will win this one. I don't know. Alright, that's what I wanted to say. Bye.